Righto, tell you who there champs. Now, today, have something really nice. A Thunderbolt 3 dock, an affordable Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now, when I say that, there is nothing cheap in the Thunderbolt world, but in terms of docks, yeah, it is good value, this thing. And this thing is so good, I actually give my other Thunderbolt 3 dock the Kyber Pass. Yes, I'm going to retire that one. It plays up sometimes with the Mac and just, yeah, this thing's good because it's PC and Mac. And that's what you want, right? No, well, that's what I want. Now, check out the description for the latest prices. And if you guys are new around here, come on, sub up, join the wood train, hit that bell, ding -ling and dong and I appreciate a like if you like this video. So it is a Thunderbolt 3 dock by Atten. Never heard of them. But I've got to tell you, after reviewing this product, I want to have a look at some of their other products. So this is a Thunderbolt 3 dock, multiport dock with power charging. It's the UH7230. That is the specific model there. Now this thing supports up to 5K monitors. If we have a look in the box here, what you get is basically the power brick. And that power brick is 180 watts. You also get the Thunderbolt 3 cable and of course the dock itself. Now this Thunderbolt dock is capable of powering 85 watts. Now you might be thinking, oh, so it's not enough for the MacBook Pro 16 or the XPS 17 or 15 because they're 130 watts and 96 watts. Well, let me tell you, I've already demonstrated that those laptops, the XPS 17 uses 85 watts total system power. So that's CPU and GPU put together maximum. MacBook Pro, about 75 watts. XPS 15, 65, 70 watts. So this powers 85 watts. So that's enough for any Ultrabook and even those 15 inch on 16, 17 inch laptops that I've just mentioned, it's going to be enough most of the time. The only time you'll draw from the battery is like in a boost state. So if it boosts on the GPU or boosts on the CPU and it uses over 85 watts, you'll draw from the battery a little bit. But most of the time, it's going to be enough to power your laptop. You'll be able to edit, whatever. 85 watts is good. So if we have a look at it, if we have a look on the front, we have two USBs, one USB Type-A, one USB Type-C. These are 3.1 Gen 1s. On the back, we have gigabit Ethernet, a USB Type-A, 3.1 Gen 1, microphone and headphone jack. You have the Thunderbolt 3 85 watt power delivery port. And that's the one you connect to your laptop, etc. You have another Thunderbolt 3 out. So that's like for plugging in another Thunderbolt device or daisy chaining. You have display port and then you have the power jack. Now it is display port. I personally like display port because I use display port for everything. Now some people might want, you know, HDMI, but the good thing is it has another Thunderbolt port. So you just plug in a Thunderbolt 3 to HDMI dongle, you're done. Or USB-C to HDMI. And I have tested it. I actually tested this on a 4K monitor, no problems, 4K 60. Tested it on two displays simultaneously. So that was a 1440p 165 hertz and a 1080p 165 hertz. No problems displaying both. Although it was displaying 144 hertz on a 1080p because I was using the um, Thunderbolt out to HDMI but yeah it's good works on all those monitors no problem you can go up to 5k of course now I did plug in a Thunderbolt 3 SSD as well I was getting fast read speeds and the write speeds were a little bit less than usual but that's because my actual Thunderbolt 3 SSD is 80% full so you know the write speeds do slow down I fully expect that they'll be over a thousand megabytes per second write if I actually emptied some of the contents, which I can't do at the moment, but that's cool. So you can daisy chain, you've got 85 watts of power. You can hook up super fast storage, Thunderbolt 3 storage, you know, all the displays and it works Mac and PC. That's all you want in a Thunderbolt 3 dock. I like that it's display port. And even if you do want to go HDMI, just get, you know, USB-C to HDMI, plug it into that Thunderbolt 3 port. There's nothing more to say about it. It's replaced my other Thunderbolt 3 dock. I like it. I recommend it. It's good value. There's nothing more I can say, but woof. Go and grab yourself one if you want a good, affordable Thunderbolt 3 dock. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.